Hi, welcome to how to create buttons using Java applet with grid layout. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how I have managed to put this together using Eclipse. So I'm going to close this and let's start all over. Let's go to file, new Java, and let's give that a name. I'm just going to call it applet underscore buttons there okay that's the name of my project I'm gonna click on finish let's show you guys the finish here yeah, there we go and there we go guys now this system is right inside my package explorer right here App applet buttons look at it right there now right click on applet buttons go to new let's select class and I'll give that a name as well I'll call the, the name of the class applet but underscore buttons click on finish there we go now that my applet button is ready in there I'm going to enter extend with an S so let's say Java dot applet dot uppercase applet there we go right there and the other thing I need to import let's import as follows java dot abstract windows tools java let's say import java dot let's go for color because I'm going to need that and let's just copy this and import those ones as well paste a dot yeah I think I'm going to need that button no I'm going to need that all grilled so that would be for the grilled itself grid layout yeah this very one okay I also need one for button I'm gonna copy all of that paste dot buttons there now that I've imported all think I might need more but I don't know all right so let's go into our program area now so in there I'm going to declare as follows private let's call that button and this button will comprise of just give it a variable name of b1 b2 b3 b4 okay so i'll go for up to b4 and i intend to increase that later on the next thing is let's come in here and initialize as follows there's a public void in it and enter curly braces in there okay before we define the content in the button let's get rid of that i might as well just set the size of my string let's set that to 1360 by 700 that's the size of my screen then the back color let's define that as the background color let's go for say color dot cn right that's my color now what about the font let's say font equals f and that is new font that's the object for the font that i'm creating now so the font i intend to use let's go for time new roman there 
So that's the font I intend to use, and I want it to be bold. One stands for bold, and this will be the size of the font 38. Now that that is done, the next thing we want to do is okay. The next thing I like to do now is to use one of the layout managers. So I'm going to call that sets. set layout and that is going to be new grid layout there are various uh, types of layout manager but the one I intend to use is grid layout so let's say 4 4 by 4 and so that means I want it in four rows and four across so I'm going to have to enter another four of these four and four that's 16 so four times four that's 16 so let's change that to five six so altogether I now have 16 variables declared for my buttons okay so now that the buttons are declared now let's say for button one equals new button okay in there let me enter the name of african continent right and semicolon so let's set dot back color the color for that very button is going to be color dot let's see dot let's go for blue right and what about the font so let's assign a font to it okay the font is going to be b1 dot set font and that is f the name of these very fonts so that is that done so all i just need to do now is since i've done the very first one what i'm going to do is just copy and paste okay so I'm going to have to copy these 16 times and paste it but before then let's try and run it and you guys will see what I'm talking about so but before that we'll say add b1 add button 1 right so before running is let's change this to just one single button so that you guys see what I'm talking about right I've commented out all of the other buttons and this one I'm just gonna change it to let's say okay let's comment this out as well and I just run the buttons and you guys see what I'm talking about so let's run it right that's the first button created okay so I'm gonna close that and let's let's open this up open this up and just copy and paste that will be for button two three four so let's change this to two three and four no that's three and this is four So since we have four buttons already defined, let's add the four buttons as well. Right there. No, this is two, three, and four. There. So I'm going to just run that and you guys see what I'm talking about. 
then this layout might cause problem let's try it without commenting it out and see there we go that's how the buttons look like okay all we then need to do is copy everything and just paste it and change the details around okay so I'm gonna have to speed that up and get back to you guys okay all of the buttons are now created so let me show you the lines of code let's take it from the top right here are the variables declared and those are the components that are imported let's take it down you can see that those are the buttons okay I've actually changed all of the values in there okay from the top you see the different names of the continent and from here you see different rivers the long the longest rivers we have in the world and right underneath we have the largest or the highest mountain in the world and the highest mountain in africa and that is where i've added all my buttons on board there so let's run it now and see let's run it there we go guys that is how my buttons looks like now though they do nothing but that's how you create a button using applet so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it we all have a nice day now bye for now